welcome to Compline on this Good Friday. By tradition, Compline on Good Friday takes a shortened form. We begin with the psalm, followed by a verse of scripture, the gospel canticle, and then we conclude with the collects as we entrust this day past and the night to come, ourselves and all for whom we pray to God. Welcome. O oh Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O oh Lord, know it all together. You encompass me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where then can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written, as day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there were none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. A reading from Zechariah, chapter 12, verse 10. God says, and I will pour out a spirit of compassion and supplication on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. So that when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child, and weep bitterly over him, as one weeps over a firstborn. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Let us pray. And our prayers tonight, to begin with at least our silent prayers.
trusting and knowing that God hears us and the longings of our hearts. We entrust our prayers and the prayers of the world to him. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, as we stand at the foot of the cross of your Son, help us to see and know your love for us, so that in humility, love and joy, we may place at his feet all that we have, and all that we are, through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Visit this home, O Lord, and all of our homes, we pray, and drive far from them the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.